How you doing? It's Sean and Brian again with Two of You Guys in Gear. Uh, Brian's behind the camera. Um, the other day, I was cleaning up some of my stuff and uh, actually ran across the shotgun that I forgot I bought. Um, I've had it for about five years, and that's probably been since the last time I've shot it. It's a, uh, you don't see them too often. It's a Century Arms SAS-12 uh, semi-automatic um, box-fed uh, shotgun, 12 gauge. Uh, it has ghost sights on it and a big front blade sight. Um, it's not real nice to look at, but it runs. It runs good. I haven't had any problems with it uh, when I did shoot it. Um, I like it. They're, uh, they were only imported for, I believe, two years before they got banned. I could be wrong. And they were also um, imported under a few different manufacturers or names. Um, Naranco, uh, Weedong, and um, I'll mess this one up, Z, She Die, or something like that. But uh, it's a fun, it's a fun little gun. I'm not sure, uh, you know, what it's what it's made after. Uh, I wish I knew, because then I might be able to get some parts for it. But uh, we're gonna do. Uh, I thought y'all want to check this out. Um, you don't see them too often. Let's do some shooting with it. got the last round bolt hold open which is nice and then you can get them in a five round mag finding mags for these are real hard um, last time I saw one they were around 50 bucks but I haven't seen any in a long time um, I looked a few months ago couldn't find any and uh, yeah they're hard to get But yeah, let me load up these uh, these mags here, and uh, we'll do some more shooting. Yes, I like it. It's uh, it's actually a pretty comfortable shotgun. So the grip's a little bit too big for me, but it's still it's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna do my best at pronouncing it. So let's see. I'm gonna go with uh, Zen shy die so i guess let us know in the comments which one of us was closer but uh i do like the gun a lot so that was a five round mag let's try the three round see how we do i like that last round bolt hold, hold open is pretty sweet um it's actually not bad at all to shoot i'm kind of liking it so uh, the cost on these guns, I don't know exactly what they were. What were they, Sean? About 200 bucks. It ain't bad if you can find them. But again, the magazine price is kind of steep. So and we're just shooting regular old cheap Walmart ammo. Let's see how we do. Runs flawless. I like it. So not bad. All right, well, let me uh, let me get behind the camera, get this back in Sean's hands, let him uh, close out the video. All right, a few other things about this shotgun. Uh, it does come threaded for chokes. Um, I got a few chokes with it. Uh, fortunately, when I when I bought it, um, I bought it secondhand. Um, and it also just from I've never seen one in person, but from the pics I've seen online, it, it was offered in a I don't know some kind of dark brown. Um, I thought it was real ugly, but uh, I'd much rather have the black one. But I don't know if it'd be one of these guns that I would buy to rely on or I don't, maybe to hunt with if you, if you didn't use it that much. But uh, I'd be worried about it breaking and then not being able to get parts for it. But the, it's reliable and it runs. Um, I've probably put about 100 rounds through it since I've owned it. Um, but it's just, it's just one of them. I thought it was a cool shotgun because it was... Uh, you know, box fit, magazine fed. 
But uh, yeah, let's put some more rounds through it. Recoil's on not on it, not that bad on it either. Surprisingly, because it's, it's it almost feels like one of those hollow stocks. And I I, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have um, the bolt release button on it. Also, I think it read, said it's somewhere stamped on the barrel. Um, don't use steel shot. So, yeah, don't use steel shot on it for whatever that worth. So I guess you couldn't hunt, hunt any ducks or geese or whatever they use steel shot for. But uh, yeah, it's a fun little gun. If you run across one while you're at the gun show or if you run across one, I, I'd grab it if it's cheap enough. Um, and, and make sure it comes with magazines because they're next to impossible to find. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, I hope you liked it. Uh, it's a cool little shotgun. Um, you can check us out on uh, Instagram at 2A Guys and Gear. Uh, or you can uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.